Welcome to our online. Here we're going to see how we can actually find the area of a parallelogram using matrices. The parallelogram has four corners at 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 2. Notice that I've also drawn two vectors, the vector 1 from the origin to this one corner and the vector 2 from, this or from the origin to this corner right here. We can now draw those two vectors, at least numerically represent those two vectors, as matrices. Vector 1 can be represented by a matrix as follows. It will have the elements x1 and x2, and in this case that would be equal to x1 that would be 3 and x2 would be 2. So x1 and x2 in essence stand for x and y. And vector 2 can be represented as follows. That is equal to, again, x1, x2, that would be the variables x and y in this case, and in that case we would have negative 1, 1, so negative 1 and 1. We're now going to create the matrix A from those two vectors. We now can represent the matrix A as being equal to vector 1 in the first row and vector 2 in the second row, which becomes 3 and 2 for the first row and negative 1 and 1 for the second row. It now turns out that the area of the parallelogram can be defined as the determinant of A, which is equal to the product of those two elements, 3 times 1, minus the product of those two elements, 2 and negative 1, which is equal to 3 plus 2 or 5. That means in this particular case, the area of this parallelogram is equal to 5. It's actually a pretty slick method, and it works, and it's very easy to execute. And that's how we find the area of a parallelogram using matrices and determinants.